Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your bonus love reading for March 2023. Okay, let's see what's happening with you guys. So, let's see. Um, first card will be, what is going on? What is your situation? We have the Ace of Swords. Ooh, I like the Ace of Swords. Cutting out what doesn't belong. Going through a major transformation with this dragonfly here. Something's changing. Something's shifting. I almost feel like you're putting your foot down on something. You're saying, I'm done with this. I'm, I'm, I'm cutting this out. Also, speaking your truth. Okay, so let's see. What is the current challenge affecting this? There's competition or there's fights, there's arguments. There's, um, I almost feel like there may be many people trying to be in charge. Trying to, there's just too much conflict. Too much competition or something going on here. Okay, so now for the um, basis of the situation, we have the Harbin. Okay, maybe someone wants commitment or maybe someone wants to have something more structured, more... Um, conformed here Organi it could be an organization that you're dealing with yeah something more it feels like yeah someone's trying some feel very controlling okay so now um in the past how it's relevant to this there's something that you manifest in the past so um you bring in your power you manifested something so um to me the magician is aries aquarius energy yeah so you could have brought something into being here that is now maybe causing a little bit of conflict because other people don't like the fact that you did something or you brought something in, if that makes sense. Um, now, in the present energy, we have you're going to have a victory here. You're going to be celebrating something. You're in the spotlight. You're getting attention. And in the near future, we have, oh, things are going to move quickly here. A lot of things move fast. There might be back and forth communication or you might be just very busy. Just expect things to take off like really quickly. And now... What is your power in this situation? You're the queen of coins here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be very doing very well with your money. You can be very nurturing, caring. You could be the head of the house, the female head of the household. It could be a male too. Um, but there's a nice flow here. A nice spiritual flow, a nice money flow, abundance flow too. Queen of coins. Okay, and then let's see here. So what are the effects of the people around you? Okay, someone wants to commit and someone wants to build a solid foundation with you. And then the hopes and fears. Okay, we got someone from the past wanting to come back in here. Or you know, it could be someone that you meet that you just met. But there's a very strong connection. It could be because you have a past life connection. Maybe you guys don't know it yet, but it could be coming in here. Very strong connection here. Memories. And for the um, possible outcome, we have a Knight of Wands. The Nine of Cups. And the Seven of Swords. Okay, so Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Don Juan, Don Juan. There's someone coming in here to romance you. Oh, yes, a lot of love here. Knight of Wands. They also, you're probably their hopes, their wishes, their dreams come true, but you're not sure about this. You might feel like they're holding back or something's being held back from you. It's like something is not, something's not right with the Seven of Swords appearing here. So let's see, we do have, you're trying to make a decision here, two of coins, trying to balance things out. Trying to decide what to do. What shall you do? Okay. So let's go to this Ace of Swords here. What's the scoop on this Ace of Swords? The King of Cups. Okay, so you're com you have a King of Cups coming towards you. Or unless this is your... Because you could be a King of Cups too. Because this is Cancer Scorpio... Pisces, someone wants to speak the truth about their love. Someone wants to open up. We have, oh yeah, here I have the dolphins. Two dolphins jump together. Um, here I, <coughs> I hear that the dolphins mate for life here. Coming together here, a lot of love, a lot of joy. Someone wants to be with you. <coughs> I got a tickle here. Someone's irritated. Okay, let me get a sip of water. I'm not sure if it's... I don't know why I would be coughing, but I always cough to um, these readings if someone's irritated or wants to speak. Let me see if it goes away. All right, now, five is always changes. We have the five of wands here. Some kind of conflict, some kind of something going on here. A lot of anger, it feels like, about something. The star. Okay, you know what? I think you are shining bright. You're getting a lot of attention, and others don't like the attention you're getting. They're they're very competitive, but you are shiny bright. Aquarius energy in the um, spotlight here. Okay, why do we have the heart in here? 
What's going on with this hierophant? Ooh, the tower. It almost feels like someone broke down someone's structure, broke down someone's beliefs. Something came tumbling down. I almost feel like someone called someone on something. And I'm feeling like this person's having a whole new awakening. What they believed in as far as their spiritual beliefs, is coming crashing down for someone here. If that makes sense. It's not going to be for everyone. We have Aries um, Scorpio energy here with the tower. But something, our commitment's coming apart. So um, something that's coming out, some or someone could be in a marriage. And someone is getting a lot of attention, may become famous, and they're, they're, here's the commitment. The marriage is falling apart because of it. Because of something that you manifested here. Okay, let's see about the past with the magician here. What's going on with that? The Page of Pentacles. There was some offer that came in the past made from a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe an offer to fix something. I always look at this guy with the wrench. Trying to fix something. Trying to, um, or has the tool, you know what, the magician has the tools they need. This person, now we have the skull and crossbones. This person, someone could have a tattoo with this on it or something that felt like poison to someone or something that poisoned a connection. Poison something here or or stop something. Put an end to something. And it came from the past. Made this page of pentacles and um, uh, interfered, intruded um, in a connection maybe for some um, page of pentacles. You know what? It's all too, <laughs> I'm getting to, you know, throw the monkey wrench in it. Someone might have sabotaged something and did it on purpose. Okay, well, anyway, I think you're doing well here. We have the Six of Wands. I don't know what happened in the past or who's upset about what, but it seems like you're doing quite well. We're getting a victory here. We have the Queen of Swords. You're standing in your power. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. I feel like you're standing in your power here. And we have here... Memories, you're looking back on things, you're you're reflecting, you're looking back at how someone treated you or something, and you want to get to the truth of something, I think. I'm feeling that you're very powerful and you're going to get to the truth of the matter. Queen of Swords. And why do we have the Eight of Wands here? Why is the Eight of Wands here? The Chariot, Cancer Energy, something is moving very quick. In the near future, get ready. Things are going to start to take off. Everything like sort of fell into place. First, it almost feels like something had to explode, had to come down, had to um, like destruct in order to, now you're going to restruct it. You, you, there's like something happening really quick here. You might be moving, moving away from something, moving towards something. Now, why do we have the Queen of Pentacles here? Why is that here? The world. Yeah, you're completing a cycle to start something new. And this is this is your power. You have the power to almost feels like you're in control. You have the power to change things. You have the power to stop things, to start things, to create things. You are the one that are able to do this. It might be because of your money or somehow you have the you have the power to do it. Okay, what about the four of wands here? Okay, we have the Seven of Wands. You're finding your way. You're finding your way to a commitment or to something more secure. And um, this is also has to do with the effects of the people around you. You're like, if someone, I almost feel like if someone's putting up an obstacle, you can get through it. You'll find your way. You'll always find your way. What about the um, Six of Cups? Why is the Six of Cups here? Ooh, yeah, see, you're coming into your money here. Your money's doing really well. Here's a long-term commitment, or this is finances. This could be something that from the past coming back in. Now, for some, I'm feeling, too, that you might be finding an interest that you're good at right off the start. Now, when that happens, like all of a sudden you pick up a paintbrush and you can paint, you know, or draw or something like that. It's because you could do it in a past life, and you're just remembering you're not learning, you're remembering. So you're 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 doing something like that, I feel like. Something's come back from the past. Whatever this is that's coming back from the past, this memory is bringing you in commitment and also financial security. Now what about this Knight of Wands? Judgment. 
justice. Justice is going to be served here. Libra energy. Something is coming into balance. And, and you probably even wonder how it's even happening. This is a very interesting card. I don't know if you ever looked at this card. This person has two hands holding the swords up. And then there's another hand holding like a fish. So there's three hands there. There's keys. You have the keys to whatever you need. You have the keys to get to something. And there might be something. You're able to accomplish something other people can't accomplish. So justice being served here. Or maybe even this, for some of you this night, a wand coming in is bringing justice for you. Is They're helping you somehow. But we do have the nine of cups here. What's, why is the nine of cups here? The knight of pentacles. Okay, someone's coming here slow and sure. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Hmm, this person might be bringing just this person's coming in here bringing a lot of happiness. Your wish fulfillment. Okay, let's see. Scissors. Ooh, something's being cut out. Someone could be a hairdresser or a barber, too. Or someone could do something with scissors as far as their occupation. Um, let's do Knight of Pentacles. I mean, someone get even so fashion designer. Knight of Pentacles. Let's see. Put that on there. Okay. So, and just even I'm looking at, I don't know why the blades are just feel so strong. I'm looking at the shininess of this blade, and I'm looking at the the scissors here. So, someone might really do use some kind of blade for whatever they do for a living. Okay. Let's see. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Strength. Leo energy. So if someone's trying to... almost feels like someone's trying to connive you, trying to outsmart you. I think you have the strength to realize what's going on. You're going you're gonna to stop them. And we have temperance. Yeah, Sagittarius energy. Balancing things out. Making things work here. And probably, you know, taking your time. Because it's having patience here. have to have patience when the temperance card shows up. Okay, guys, now I got this little deck. What I was going to do to begin with, and now I decided against it, was um, to like do th three cards on each one. Just go back again and do it again. But I'm not going to do that because it would be too hard <laughs> to like pull each card out again to see what we're dealing with. So I'm going to just do some extra cards here for some extra information. Here's one to fill out right away. And we have here, this is a two of wands. Yeah, so there might be a decision to make here. You might be at some kind of crossroad. Okay. And we have here the chariot. Okay, cancer energy. Something's moving quick. You might make a decision here and move on it quickly once you decide. But you have to decide. Either way, it's okay. It's not like there's going to be a bad decision. Just figure this going to take you in a different direction. Okay, we have here... The star, which granted, nice. Nice reading. Okay, we have here Ace of Wands, a passionate start. Yeah, someone wants a new start with you. It felt weird. It felt like we really didn't get that much love coming in here, but there is. It's just, it feels like there's other things that have to, so other things are falling into place or something like that. Something about you doing your own thing. Okay. We have here. Seven of Cups, you have options. You also, with this, this is a clarity of, of thought on here. And we have the Devil. Stringing, strings attached. I'm going to say stringy behavior or something. There's some kind of strings attached to something. Okay, so watch out for that. We'll also be dealing with a Capricorn. We have the Sun. Just have fun. Okay, we have the star. We have the sun. Nice. And then we have Wheel of Fortune. Decisive moment. You're going to have to decide on something. Well, you definitely have options here. You have to make a decision. Hangman. You're gaining a new perspective, though, for whatever's happening here. And tempers again. And it's lack of perspective, it says. Okay, here's your gain and new perspective. And then it's a lack of... Well, I mean, it's going to be different for everyone. 
you know which one fits for you. Or maybe for one thing, you definitely know what you want to do. And another one, you're like, okay, I don't. So, wow. All right, let's see what the word is. What's the word for you guys? What's the queen of sword? Let's see. You're definitely standing apart. Okay, someone's going to contact you. Phone call. That It could also be a text, an email, a letter. It's going to be some kind of form of communication. Eventually, and we have soulmate. Okay, I do feel like there's a strong connection coming in here. There's either someone's coming in from the past and it's a soulmate. It might be a love connection, but it also could be someone that is helping you in some kind of work situation or helping you remember how to do something you used to do in the past. Did I not put the King of Cups? Oh, I, got, I need a King of Cups here. Wait a minute. King of Cups. Okay. Now, what about this Knight of Wands? We have After Hidden Feelings. I think after you meet up with this person, this Knight of Wands, you're going to feel they're hiding something. We do have the Seven of Swords here. And it does feel like someone's pulling back or not expressing everything. They're, they're holding something back. So that's it. You're going to find out that someone has more feelings for you than they're actually telling you. And we have here insult. Ooh, a tower. Likely. Okay, so someone might say something that's insulting, and that might bring down a tower here. It's going to be a surprise anyway. Uh, whatever this is. Likely someone's going to insult someone. Okay. That might or might not happen for you, so... You know, it is a general reading. Just take the parts that resonate, leave the parts that don't. Now, the tower is Aries and Scorpio energy. So, um, expect some kind of surprise. Maybe someone says something. Maybe you don't mean it as an insult. Sometimes people say some stupid things. They don't even realize they're being like that. You know, it's like, they have no idea. They're clueless. Okay, let's see. What about the Page of Pentacles? Let's see here. TikTok. Caring. Honest. Okay, someone from the past here, in the past energy, they felt like they're running out of time and they really were very caring and being honest about something. Okay, what about this King of Cups? Jealousy. The X. Now, didn't we have, what do we have? Yeah, see, we do have this challenge here is that there's competition. There's some kind of conflict here. And... The ex is jealous and getting excited about this. You know, I think, yeah, I think you have a very strong, um, can, someone has a very strong attachment to you and they're very jealous of you. They're very, they have a lot of jealousy. What about this Queen of Pentacles? We have Lover, Forget, Friends. Oh, okay, now this is the power that you have. So, Maybe when this lover comes in, you you might forget your friends. Now, I'm, I'm saying if you are, it's because they were not really true friends. Because I feel like whoever's doing this is like, it's, it was something that's meant to be here. Could we do have the world here? And underneath we have here the Queen of Coins, the world. Endings, new beginning, there's major change, temperance, figuring things out, balancing things out. And so, um... Maybe someone's friends are saying, hey, forget the lover, too. So just rearrange these how they make sense to you. It is a general reading, so it's going to be different for other people. So um, it's not going to be all, you know, it can't be a personal reading. Okay, let's see here. What is the signs that you could be dealing with? What are the signs here? Leo. Aquarius. Scorpio. Virgo. Oop, this one flipped over, so we'll take it. Libra. And on the bottom, we have Aries. Okay, so this could be placement, your chart, placement, other people's charts, past, present, and future. So we have here Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Virgo, Libra, and Aries. Okay, now, guys, let's see. We're going to do 11. Um, 11 dice here, so we're going to do 11. Letters. Um, <laughs> I'm tired. You can tell when I get punchy. I'm getting tired here. Um, okay, so this could be for initial first name, last name. If you get both the first and last name, and someone has a middle name, and you know that middle name, you get that initial also. All the better. Past, present, future, also your own initials. 
S L M R D J K G G T V okay so the letters we have for you today are S L M R D J K G G T V okay now let's do 11 or more names let's see what names want to come up 11 more names I'm shaking up a little bit get the ones from the bottom okay Okay, let's see what we have here. Darlene. Maxine. Brenda. Marie. Ruth. Nellie. Janine. J-E-N-E-E-N. Edgar. Wow, that's the first... Male. <laughs> that's that's weird. Joan J O H A N. Um Shayla S H A Y L A Terry Betty. Why wow, I can't believe all the females. Jeez. Cheryl and Tyrone. Thank you, Tyrone. <laughs> okay, we have here. 10, 14. All right, there you go. Those are names. I remember, guys, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. If this does not resonate, check out your other placements. You always check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Something might resonate with you more at that time. You'll get an even deeper reading with that. Okay, guys, I love you so much. I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you so much.